Have you noticed more bruising since you've started on a GLP-1? Let's talk about why this happens and when it's a red flag. So as a healthcare provider, I get this question all the time, and I've taken care of thousands of people who are on GLP-1s. And honestly, I get this complaint more often than I don't. So let's go over a couple of really common reasons why you might be bruising more if you started taking a GLP-1. So the first thing is injection site reactions. So mild irritation, itching, redness, or even mild bruising at the injection site could all be considered pretty normal. Sometimes your injection technique can cause bruising. So if you inject the medication too quickly, or if you keep injecting at the same site over and over, it can increase your risk for bruising at the site. Now, weight loss in general puts you at risk for increased bruising because you lose the fat pad that is the layer underneath your skin that protects you from bruises. This layer of fat also pads around your blood vessels. So when your blood vessels lose that padding, it makes them a little bit more susceptible to leakage. So people are noticing that even small bumps can create a bruise when used to, it wouldn't bother them. And lastly, nutritional deficiencies can be a big deal when you start GLP-1 therapy because of lowered appetite. So if you're not getting enough vitamin C, vitamin K, or even protein that puts you at risk for increased levels of bruising. It makes your blood vessels more fragile, and then you're much more likely to show up with a bruise for no good reason. So about 20% of the time, GLP-1 users complain about bruising, and for the most part, it's really not anything to be worried about. But let's talk about when you need to be concerned. Okay, red flag number one, if you are getting large bruises unexplained, especially if they're far away from your injection site, that could signal that you have a clotting disorder or a severe nutritional deficiency. Red flag number two is if you've got other signs of bleeding. So nosebleeds, bleeding of your gums, blood in your stool or your urine always deserve very quick attention. So definitely don't delay getting checked out. And red flag number three is if you are also on other medications that might cause issues with bleeding. So medications like blood thinners, aspirin, other anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, or even long-term steroids. All of these medications can make bruising much more likely when you combine them with a GLP-1. Bottom line, most bruises are not anything to be worried about, but if they're large, unexplained, or they come with no good reason, it's always wise to get checked out and make sure there's not a bigger problem. So let me know in the comment section, have you noticed increased bruising since you've started a GLP-1? Uh, let me know. I wanna know if there's an injection site, are you bruising at other places, and how long did it take between starting the GLP-1 and noticing the bruising? As always, follow me here for more tips, tricks, and all the things you need to know about your GLP-1 therapy.